Hello from Shraddha from Love Bites. Makai Paka. It's a Kenyan corn and coconut curry dish. It was popularized by fast food restaurants to cater to vegetarians, usually otherwise made with chicken or fish. It has the influence from African, Indian and Arabic cuisines. A very simple to put together under 15 minutes recipe with very subtle flavors of spices. They usually eat it with mahamri, chapati or rice. Either of the three carbohydrates do well with this. We eat it often but with chapati or if I have the time to bake some mahamri, we do eat it with that. Use fresh corn or frozen, whatever you have handy and coconut milk. It's a very satiating dish and it's simple, simple, simple to put together on the table. So give it a try, do like, do subscribe and click on the bell icon for notifications. All the recipes are given in the description box below. Have a look. Until next time, bye-bye. Today we are going to be working on a Kenyan dish called Makai Paka. For that heat a wok. To the wok, we're going to add some clarified butter. You can definitely make this in oil, but I would rather cook as much as I can with clarified butter. Once the ghee or clarified butter gets hot, we're going to add some peppercorns, cinnamon stick, cloves and a bit of cumin seeds. We're going to just saute it till our cumin seeds start to splutter. Our spices have been roasted well. To this, we're going to add some onions. I finely chopped it. Just going to cook this until they turn soft and translucent. Our onions are done, they've turned soft and translucent. To this, we're going to add a paste of ginger, garlic and green chilies. We're going to cook it for a few minutes until the raw smell disappears. Our pastes are well cooked. We're going to add some cashew powder, turmeric, salt to taste. We'll saute it for a minute. After a minute of sauteing, we're going to take some corn and add that. Take fresh or frozen, whatever handy for you. Give it a mix. Keep your heat on high now. And we are going to add some coconut milk. Stir to combine and let it come to a boil. Make sure you get rid of all the lumps that had formed. Our dish has come to a boil. To this we are going to add some pepper in the end and some finely chopped coriander leaves. Give it a good stir. Let the pepper cook for 30 odd seconds or so. And our dish is ready. Wasn't this simple? The Kenyans enjoy it with chapati, rice or mahamri. Whatever you can make or is convenient for you, eat it with that. I'm going to eat it with some chapati today and not the mahamri because I haven't baked some today. So give it a try guys, you will love it. Thank you.